Ah, uh, yes. I don't know about you, honey bear, but I'm awfully hungry. It's lunchtime. It is definitely lunchtime. Folks, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What is today? Today is Camper's Cafe. That's right. And we have this right here. This is from Alpine Air. And this is three cheese chicken pasta. Will it be any good? We shall find out. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We wanted to try a meal from Alpine Air. You may remember that we checked out their guacamole dip, which had won some awards. And um, it was a little too peppery for our <coughs> taste. <laughs> It made Luke cough, and he did not stop coughing for, like, the whole day. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty powerful. But let's give one of their meals a chance and see how it is. Let's do this. Okay, so how much water do we need? Okay, so we will need one and one-half cups of boiling water. Okay. So Luke is going to get that ready. Um, you can buy this online at alpineair.com. You can also find these at Walmart and REI. The price is $7 at alpineair.com. REI sells for $7.50, so you know, you're looking at right around $7 wherever you pick this up at. So this is a typical freeze-dried meal. Um, you just add water to it that you need to boil, and they are done within 15 minutes. This particular meal will be done in 12 minutes. So this is pasta with a creamy three cheese sauce and zucchini. And you definitely see the chunks of zucchini in there. Look at all the zucchini. Gosh, there's a lot. Where's the chicken, man? So we seal it up and we basically are just gonna let this sit for 12 minutes. Okay. Now when it comes to the nutritional information for this here, let's see, there are two servings for this bag. Each serving is 290 calories. Eight grams of total fat, cholesterol 35 milligrams, sodium 570 milligrams. So I don't know, that's not super high really. It's pretty comparable to other products out on the market. Yeah, pretty typical. Pretty typical. Yeah. You know, when it comes to the ingredients here, for the most part, you know what these items are. There's nothing that's too insane. No, the list is long, but I see a lot of uh, organic ingredients mm -hmm. and they are recognizable. Right. Are you cold? I am chilly, so. Would you like to hold on to the yeah, bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Now, it has been a while since we've done a Camper's Cafe, and that's because we've been focused on doing the um, Nomadic subscription service. We've been doing that for three months. That's done. Back to Camper's Cafe for a while. Yep. So make sure to comment down below. If there's a certain type of food product which you would like for us to review, let us know. All right, we are halfway through the waiting period. Let's give it a good old-fashioned stir. You know, as far as smells go, pretty good. It smells good. Yeah, it does smell yeah. good. It is go time. All right, well, let's see what this looks like, shall we? All righty. It looks awesome. It does. It's very green, huh? Yeah, very green. I like green. Green is good. Green is good for you. Yes, yes. Now, right off the bat, I have to ask, where is the chicken? Yeah, that is my first impression. Where's the chicken? Yeah, three cheese chicken pasta. Where is the chicken in this? I think maybe here. That is... I think the chicken's very tiny. Do you think so? I don't think I have any. Um, no. Well, I, I don't know. I think they're tiny. Is that chicken? I think that's chicken. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Like, that is enough right there to p me off. <laughs> I can't, like, I, I feel like yeah. I'm being lied to. Yeah. I, I'm so sick and tired of these companies doing this stuff, you know? Yeah. By saying this is chicken pasta <laughs> with this in it does not count as chicken pasta. No, maybe there's chicken flavor, but the main components that you see right off are carrots and zucchini. Big chunks of zucchini. Right. I would expect the same for the chicken. Big chunks of chicken. Right. You no, know? Yeah. Take a look at this, folks. This is crazy. All right. So take a look here. Susie was able to find some in hers. Look at that. Chicken. Okay, that's very small. Now look at what I found. There's a piece. That one tiny little chunk right there, that is about the only chicken that I see in mine. I mean, there might be a tiny little piece right here, maybe. I've got three chunks so far. Well, you definitely won out in the chicken battle because... I got three chunks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... All right, so... I'm going to put that to the side for now, but let me just be honest about this. Like, I'm frustrated. I'm a little bit angry. You know, the company was nice enough to send this to us, but if I went out and I purchased this and I made this expecting chicken pasta, 
I'd be very frustrated because like it says here, three cheese chicken pasta. It doesn't say three cheese uh, zucchini pasta. You know what That's I'm saying? That's right. Zucchini is in small print below, meaning it's just a an extra additive. Right. So yeah, you're right. This should be three cheese zucchini pasta. Pasta with a creamy three cheese sauce and chicken. <laughs> right. Chicken should be small print. <laughs> so. But why yeah. don't we go ahead and taste it while it's still hot? All right. And I always like doing this. I don't know why, but mwah, so weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad. There's not a big flavor rush. Mm -hmm. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. The carrots have a little bit of a. Uh, not really crunch, but there's more texture. There's with a those, bite to it. Yeah, with the carrots. Yep. I happen to like this quite a bit. You do? I, I, yeah. I actually, yeah, I have to say, I do like it. I like the uh, three cheese combo. Mm -hmm. uh, the zucchini's good. You can taste the carrots themselves. Like you mentioned before, there is a, there's a bite to the carrots. Not a crunch, but a substantial bite. Mm -hmm. There's enough flavor, but there's not a whole lot of flavor. Like it doesn't explode in your mouth by any means. It's subtle. You, mm -hmm. I think I'm getting the flavor from the zucchini and from the carrots. Right. So think of like a pasta primavera. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Right. Yeah. You know, when it comes to cons, lack of chicken. This this isn't chicken pasta by any means. Mm -mm. Um, with the cheese sauce, while I do like it, it's a little chalky. It, how would you say that? In, in my my words is that it's a little bit chalky. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. There's uh, grainy. 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 Grainy, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I could be blindfolded and eating this, and I would not be convinced that I'm e eating chicken pasta. Mm -mm. I don't get any flavor of chicken with this at all. You know, every once in a while, I'll get that little, little bite of chicken. You know, like, it, it's very well hidden in there. I am getting that bite ever so often. And you know it's chicken? And I can tell that it's chicken. Hmm. Now, if this said three cheese, uh, zucchini pasta, <laughs> I don't know if I, would, if I would know that that was chicken that I was eating. Because yeah. it is so small. You That's know, the thing. It, it doesn't count as chicken pasta, in my opinion. Hmm. It's, it's very subtle. I, I like that. I'm not into lots of salt. You could definitely add your own seasoning to it. We could add freeze-dried chicken to this. Mm, yeah, we could. You know? Mm -hmm. What you could do is this. Mountain House has a package. It's like a chicken breast with mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can cook up both of these. You know, if you have enough people, of course. Mm -hmm. You have chicken, mashed potatoes, pasta. And that's a huge, really good meal. Yeah. yeah. It would complement everything very, very well. Let's see. This meal has 38 grams of protein. And so we're sharing that. Um, so, I mean, really, you're, it's a good protein meal. I have no way to really prove this, but I can tell you that you're not getting much protein from the chicken because there's really no chicken in it. There's not a lot of chicken. Mm -mm. There's one. Oh. <laughs> but you'd like it? I like it? it. I like it. Yeah. I, I would buy it and take it. Yeah, I take would too. Take it on a trip. I do like it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like I, I kind of want to add something to it. Mm -hmm. it it is lacking the meat factor. Chicken. <laughs> it needs chicken. It, it seems incomplete by itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, since it's not there, I'm thinking, like, okay, what could I add to it? You know, maybe, like, a sausage stick, some summer sausage. I mean, something to give it some meat. It needs some meat. Yeah, I do like it. You've got your pasta, so you've got your carbs, so you're going to get energy. Like you said, maybe some summer sausage, slice it up, mm -hmm. freeze-dried chicken, add that to it as you're cooking it. You could spice it up. Another, like a pro that I look at with this is that it comes in at seven dollars. That seven is bucks. considerably cheaper than some other freeze dried meals. Right. Um. So you know you can look at that as a pro or a con because you might want to add something else to this. But I still think it is one that I would eat again. Yeah. At seven bucks, it really is about half price of regular freeze dried meals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Would I buy this? Yes. Am I frustrated about the packaging? Three cheese chicken pasta? That really irritates me. You know, it's like I have a hard time recommending this because of that fact right there. There <coughs> is very little chicken in this. It doesn't count as chicken pasta. It is three cheese zucchini pasta. 
that would be right on. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm going to say, yeah, it's it's worth trying out, even though it is a little bit deceptive. You know. Yeah, I mean, you might think we're being way too picky, but we're just stating the facts. I don't want you to go out and buy that and be doing the same thing that we're doing, like, wait, where's the chicken? (laughs) And thinking that you didn't get chicken in yours, you know. It's there, but it's very small. Right. Um, So that's why we're just stating the obvious. We're not trying to be too picky. Right. Because, I mean, I still like it. I I, do. I see a lot of vegetables, so that makes me feel good that I'm getting vegetables. I like vegetables. I like zucchini. Mm -hmm. So I do like this dish. I do, too. When it comes to spoons, how many spoons would you give it? That's our rating system. Ten spoons the best. Zero spoons the worst. What do you think? I'm going to give it eight spoons. Mm -hmm. What are you going to give it? As far as flavor goes... Eight spoons. Mm-hmm. When you factor in the packaging and the nonsense there, the lack of chicken, I will have to subtract three spoons. I give it a five. Five? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, that's fair enough. Flavor-wise, it's pretty good. I happen to like it. So I wonder, is there a reason that there can't be, like, big chunks of chicken in these meals? Is it, like, is it a cost-efficient thing? I don't know. I mean, like, real chicken Mm -hmm. is likely the most expensive component to this dish Mm -hmm. i'm assuming you know when it comes to these freeze-dried meals i have to say that mountain house continues to be like the most on the level in terms of these of these types of meals it's Mm -hmm. like um you know if they say there's chicken in it there's chunks of chicken in it if they say that it's you know uh, beef lasagna there's actually beef in it We've tried so many of these meals where there's components that are lacking, which are clearly stated to be in there on the package. That's true. You're always, like, looking, like, where? Yeah. Where is it? (laughs) You know, I I would love for Alpine Air to be one of those companies who's not full of crap, you know? It's like when you go to purchase one of their products and it says three cheese chicken pasta, there's actually chicken in it. Alpine Air would be right up there with Mountain House in regards to being, like, honest, straightforward, not being deceptive at all. Mm-hmm. I'd rather have this package cost $10 and have it packed full of and chicken. And more chicken. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would make more sense. The chicken is so fine in this. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're talking like this yeah. size. Like the carrots are bigger than the chicken. Right. I mean, you couldn't cut it into chunks that small. I mean, it had to have gone through like a grater or something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I finished mine, though. <laughs> I'm going to finish mine up. It is lunch, so I was hungry. It made a good lunch. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I think that's it. We'll... Yeah. <laughs> We're done for this episode of the Campers Cafe. Arr, why do you guys do this? You know what I mean? I think it's raining, too. Yeah, it's raining. Fix it, Alpine Air. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength, and honor. See you guys around.